What is up guys? James here from the Light of Raga YouTube channel and in this video we're going to be doing a reading for all my Aries sun sign friends. If you're born between the dates of March 21st and April 19th then you are an Aries sun sign and this video is for you. Today we're going to be doing the month ahead readings for the month of September and we're going to be do something we're going to be doing something a little bit different than what uh, I usually do for the month ahead readings. I'm going to simplify it a little bit. Uh, so I would really appreciate if you guys could give me some feedback. Do you like this uh, method of month ahead readings? or do you like my older method with, with uh, different spreads? So if you would give me some feedback on that, I'd appreciate it. Uh, we're going to be doing a four-card reading for this month ahead reading, and we're going to be using the Tarot Mucha. And uh, this is a lovely deck, you'll see, if you haven't seen it already. And, uh, well, let's get right on into it. Uh, the first card we're going to look at is this one, and it represents what you'll be moving away from this September. Uh, one thing I do want to say, Aries friends, is that this is a general reading for a large group of people. Not everything is going to resonate with everyone. If uh, you want a specific reading where I tap into your energies, so you can head on over to my website. It's lightofriga.com. The link is in the description below. So yeah, take what works for you and leave the rest. Uh, so we're going to look at what, what you're moving away from. What many of you Aries sun signs are moving away from this September. We've got the Knight of Swords. All right, the feeling I'm getting from this card is that a lot of you are going to find yourselves moving away from the need to uh, express yourself as much to other people. And I don't mean like, I don't, okay, what I mean by that is, you know, we live in a society that expects us to conform and we, when we don't conform, we have to answer to other people, right? So that's kind of the thing. Why aren't you, why don't you believe this way of thinking, right? Uh, and I, the feeling I'm getting from this card is that it's September for a lot of you is going to be a time to just not care as much what other people have to say about you or think about you, and not care as much you know where you fit in the grand scheme of society, uh, and and just be less beholden to other people as far as who you are and where you want to go and what you want to do. So, the, yeah, that is kind of the feeling here. I'm I'm seeing is that. How can I put this in a better way? <laughs> um, yeah, I think you're going to be moving for, away from the need to explain yourself. It's basically the, the most simplest way I can explain it. Does that make sense? Feeling less like you have to uh, explain what you're doing, who you are, where you're coming from, and uh, where you're going. So let's move on over to this card. This card represents uh, what direction you'll be headed to this September. Or what, you know, what uh, energies this September is going to bring. We've got the Three of Wands. Mm, I think September is going to be uh, is going to bring an opportunity. It's going to be the energy of planning for the future, figuring out what you need to do in order to make your what you need to do in the now. Uh, what what you need to do in the now that's going to affect your future and make it a, a better future for you. So this is sort of the card of yes, contemplation and really thinking and visualizing where you want to go, but also the card of sort of. Uh, beginning to put those actions in, not only thinking about what actions you need to take, but starting to take those actions. So September is going to be a month uh, for you to uh, bring change into your life is kind of the feeling that I'm getting. Looking at these two cards together, I get the sense here that uh, we're moving away from the swords and towards the, the wands. And to me, as a tarot reader, that tells me that we're moving away from the, the logic ego mind and trying to figure things out in an egoic way and moving towards, um, sorry about that, and moving towards, that just totally knocked me out of my line of thinking. <laughs> okay. And moving towards um, doing and, and in being intuitive and and moving based on our our um, sacral chakra, you know, our stomach. <laughs> okay, uh, and so yeah, the feeling that I'm getting from this, sorry, I'm rambling, but the feeling I'm getting from this is that September is going to be the bring the opportunity for a lot of you to uh, bring in some new energy and figure out uh, a plan of attack for how you want to go forward in the upcoming months. You know, what you want to accomplish and how you want to accomplish it, and really figuring out what you need to do in order to do that. Okay. Hopefully this makes sense so far. Let's move on over to this card, which represents what you need to hold on to uh, in the month of September. What's going to help you out? We've got the Ace of Pentacles. 
And just as I said, um, you know, the Three of Wands saying that September is going to bring new opportunities to, for new things. Uh, the Ace of Pentacles is here in, in the uh, what you should hold on to uh, position, which to me is signifying that uh, this is going to be a great month for a lot of you to start some new activities. Uh, when I say activities, I, I could mean maybe a new job, maybe a new career even, uh, but maybe something smaller. Maybe start a new project. This could be an art project or something that you do for money, something that you do for fun. Uh, just bring in some new energy is kind of the feeling that I'm getting. We're being asked, uh, Aries friends, for you to uh, kind of try something that's kind of outside of your box of normalcy, right? You really challenge yourself with something new. Uh, this could be a new diet. Uh, something that's going to shake things up a little bit and cause you to kind of shake away some of that old energy and embrace some new energy. Uh, and so starting a new hobby or a new um, activity is going to be a great way for you to do that, to help make that transition, right? If you're energetically making an energetic shift and transition in your life, it makes sense to also make a shift in the physical world as well. That's just going to help that energetic transformation um, go ahead so whatever you're trying to bring in whatever new thing you're trying to bring in perhaps um, try something new in the physical world that's kind of in alignment with that that's going to help help that energetic shift or transition um, take root in the physical in the earth realm so uh, <laughs> in simpler terms uh, try something new in regards to whatever goal you're trying to accomplish Okay, uh, this card represents what you should let go of, what you should move away from from in the month of September. And we've got us the moon, our first major arcana, first and only. You know, to me, the, the moon is about an inward journey. It's about kind of going inward and, and asking yourself questions about the self, kind of uh, being introspective being kind of alone, being kind of um, self-centered in a good way. And uh, the fact that, you know, this card is coming out in this position leads me to believe that September is not going to be the month for any of those things. September is a month for you to be a lot more outgoing, a lot more um, active in the world, and less active in the self. So, Aries friends, for a lot of you, I think September you're going to find is it's kind of a busier month where the, the world's affairs are more important than your internal affairs. At least that's what it's going to seem like. That's not true. I mean, everything has equal importance, of course. <laughs> okay. Uh, but uh, I think, yeah, September is going to be time for you to focus on the physical world. Focus on bringing your goals and your dreams uh, into the earth realm. Uh, you know, there's a time and a place for being introspective, okay? And I think that time is either done or has not yet come for a lot of you uh, because September seems like a month for you to take action, to get things accomplished, to really go out there and, um, you know, put your, your dreams into motion, basically. I'm not saying your dreams are going to come true in September, but I, it looks like the, you're laying the groundwork for a big manifestation. And, uh, yes, it takes work. It takes... Um, you know, it, okay, I always say this in my videos, the new age movement will have you believe that you just have to imagine it and it will come true. No, it takes work. And uh, September seems to be one of those months that is really going to lay the groundwork to allow your manifestations to, to come. So uh, it's not without its challenges, of course, but it uh, looks like it's going to be a beneficial month for a lot of you. So now that we've seen the cards as a whole, yeah, that's uh, basically what I'm getting, Aries friends. This is a month for you to come out of maybe a shell that you were hiding in for some of you. Or maybe just, you know, you're a little bit too much in the ego mind, too much in the, the thought realms. Uh, and it's time for you to get more action-oriented. It's time for you to bring in new energy. It's time for you to start taking actions that are going to be in alignment with your goals and are going to help you to bring your goals to fruition. Uh, and it's not going to be a month for you to really go inward and to really uh, analyze the self. That time will come later, or it's already come recently for a lot of you. So uh, let's focus on creating this month and let's focus on um, doing what you have to do to bring your dreams into reality. All right, that is the reading for my Aries friends. I hope you guys got something out of that. 
Um, as always, please do the YouTube stuffs, the likes, the shares, the comments, the subscribes. I really appreciate all of that, all that support that you put. Uh, let me know if you prefer this reading or if you like the way, uh, the old way of doing the monthly readings. I'll, I'll love to hear what you guys have to say about that. And of course, if you want a personal reading with me, like I said, link is in the description box below. Lightofraga.com, that's going to be the place. All right, Aries friends, it's a month to get active. It's a month to do new things and try new things and uh, get away from being too introspective. So a uh, very go get them type month. I wish you all love and light. I wish you a happy September. Uh, leave a like if you enjoyed this. Happy taroting. Peace.